Thank you, Madam Speaker. Colleagues, although I share the concerns that have been raised about the MTR, I'd like to speak on an aspect of this rules package that I find equally troubling, and that is the provision that would upend nearly 30 years of House tradition in exempting any legislation that can be tied in any way to either response to climate change or response to the coronavirus crisis from the requirements of PAYGO. In other words, the requirement that we consider how to pay for solutions to these problems in addition to how we solve these problems. Now, admittedly, climate change and coronavirus are serious issues, but it would be irresponsible to, when debating these issues, not consider their effects on the national debt and the budget deficit, which are also serious issues. In fact, the CBO says that for the first time last year since World War II, our national debt exceeded 100 percent of our gross domestic product. To fail to consider solutions that we be, debate in this chamber, the effects of those solutions on those also serious problems would be an abdication of our responsibility to our constituents. I urge a no vote and I yield back.